Let's jump right in. We're going to get this fabric onto the hoop. You're going to take apart the two rings of the hoop, place the fabric in between them, tighten the screw that's at the top just a little bit, and start pulling the fabric tight all the way around. You wanna make it so that it's tight like a drum once you get that fabric pulled. At the end, you're going to tighten the screw as tight as you can get it. I have some hoops where I can actually tighten it with a screwdriver. These ones hold very well. Next, I'm going to be tracing the pattern onto my fabric. Now I use a light pad because I have one available. Before that, I would just trace it off of my iPad or you can cut out the design and tape it to the back of the fabric and trace it onto the front. The way I have this hoop laid onto the light pad is so that it is backwards. So I'm technically tracing onto the back of the fabric of the hoop, but it's just the easiest because it gets flat onto the light pad and it's easy to trace. I'm using a Pilot friction pen here. It is heat erasable. Works great because you can just take a hair dryer. I use a steamer and it just erases all your lines once you're done stitching. Or if you make any mistakes, you can go through and erase that as well. Once you are done tracing your pattern onto the hoop, you can then either take the fabric off, turn it around so that your design is then on the front of your hoop, or I actually stitch my hoop backwards. This way, I don't feel like I'm accidentally stretching the fabric the wrong way when it gets to the front, because sometimes you can warp how your design looks depending on if I don't know, you've got perfect circles or things and you don't want to mess them up. But that's just me. It's up to you on how you want to get it done. <laughs> 